Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another review, this time of a Call of Duty Legends set, The Battle Tank. This is set number CNG96, it has 528 pieces and retails for around £50. This set features a model of the tank here, which is a Sherman tank. Uh, you get three figures, one on the turret up there and two down here, and you get a nice little destroyed building terrain piece, including a lot of little accessories for the figures as well. Now, taking a look at the figures, we have the tank driver here, which comes with his little hat and the goggles sculpted on it, which is a fantastic little piece. You get the combat harness with the pouches that you can clip on, and past that you get a generic Call of Duty body, you get the, with the boots, um, you've got the articulation in the arms and legs as expected. The parts can be mixed and matched. Uh, it's a great little figure. I wish it actually came with two of these guys because there's two slots on the tank for them. So it's a bit of a shame that you only get one to just use on its own. Um, I usually put him at the front driving. Um, but otherwise it's a great little figure. You've got a nice little 5 o'clock shadow beard going on. Highly detailed. Um, the eyes are just the pinhole eyes however. I know that annoys some of you but it looks okay on this figure. Um, so no complaints from me. So here we have the first of two soldier figures included in this set. Like the other figure, it is on a standard Call of Duty body, so the articulation is standard. You get the nice accessories here, like the uh, pistol pouch on his uh, thigh here. You get the nice little pouches. You get a backpack for these two, which is one there. It's exactly the same on both figures. You get a nice painted Thompson submachine gun here. And on his helmet, you get a nice little printed rank insignia on the top there. Past that, there's not much in terms of paint detail for this figure, but it's still a fantastic soldier, and it's great for this set to either ride along with the tank or at the side of it. Great little addition, I'm glad they included him. The third and final figure of this set is another soldier figure, this time with a rifle and a painted bayonet on it, which is a nice addition. No rank insignia on the helmet this time, so he is just a standard grunt. You get, again, more accessories to fit onto the combat vest, a nice rucksack and torch piece on the back, and of course you can clip on the shotgun there, which is a fantastic piece. We have seen this painted, but it isn't just a standard grey. But it's still a nice piece, fantastically sculpted. Now the terrain piece of this set is meant to be a bombed out little ruin. Uh, you get nice little stone effect on the bricks with the curved edges. Nice little damage window, you know, you can swing it out as if it's been blown out. Nice little piece, some rubble on the floor. Great little piece, you can post figures in it firing from the inside, or firing it through it if you want to put some bad guys in there. Great little piece, uh, nice little addition to the tank as well. So I'm glad that they've included it, because we do need more little terrain display pieces just to emphasise that it is a war display that you've got going on. So highly detailed piece, definitely a nice addition. Now onto the tank itself, and as I've mentioned, it is based on the Sherman American tank design. It features moving treads that can move it up and down like that. Nice tread detail here with these pieces here. You get a nice pivoting turret that can go 360. You've got an elevating barrel, which is brilliant. You've got these nice clip-on painted accessories here, like this pickaxe here. Nice printed on detail in here for the American stars. And as we rotate around, you can see more of the stars printed on the front. This hatch does lift up and inside it reveals a little control stick on each side. Figure does sit in this cockpit. Now as you can see this means that the set is quite under scale. Um, as for starters this didn't lift up. But then you also have the fact that these little round pieces here. They are the original hatches from the accurate tank. So as you can see it is out of scale as they're not hatches. They're just a piece. Normally a character could stand up through them. Uh, when they were driving in non-battle zone areas. You also have the a machine gun here that can move about on a ball joint. Got a good range of motion, I quite like this little piece. Really nice idea. And of course is correct to the tank design. As we move around you can see the hatch piece better. Of course that should flip back and the figure should pop up. That's not going to happen on this. So it is quite small and out of scale. Um, somewhat, it is surprising when you build it compared to previous Mega Block tanks and the price point. The part count is there to justify the price. It just feels a bit smaller compared to, say, the Abrams tank we've had or some of the Halo tanks we've had in the past. As you can see here, though, again, you've got another clip-on accessory. Then when you get to the back, you have this uh, nice uh, collection of accessories. You got the uh, tarp section for a tent. You got the tent poles inside, some sandbags, a barrel on the back of it. 
and a nice box which can be opened and accessories put in. These are elastic straps that keep everything in place. Um, that is one of the downsides of this set, I think, is that the elastic may eventually break, being elastic. Um, so we're going to have a lot of broken sets in the future. I hope it's a while off, but still, it's a bit of a downside that that's going to happen. I would have preferred some normal string here, perhaps like the Assassin's Creed sets or something. As you can see, however, you also get some uh, nice jerry can detailing on the back of the turret. And this hatch lifts up as well. If it lifts up and swivels to the side, you can put a figure inside it sat down. Or you can have him standing up if you pose him correctly, looking out. Otherwise, it's a fantastic build. Highly recommended that you get this. And I'll go into some further details in a second. So if you remove the tent and the box section at the back of the tank, you have this nice little section here with flip up little vents. And inside of it, you can see a little mini engine build. I'll just tilt that towards the camera a bit. It's pretty basic, but it's a nice addition. You can pose figures maintaining the engine, so it's a pretty nice detail. I really like when Mega include these on builds. I hope they do it and continue it in the future. Another cool feature of this tank is the fact that you can use the tarp and the uh, posts that come with it to create a little tent that folds out from the tank. Uh, you can put a figure under there and the accessories. Uh, they did actually do this quite a lot during the downtime in the war throughout the battles. Um, so it's cool to see that this is represented in box form. It's a great little bonus that they didn't really have to do, but I'm glad that they did because it adds so much in terms of diorama purposes that you can just do so much with it. So it's, I'm really glad Mega included this piece entirely. So overall you get a fantastic tank build, some great figures, some great features like the buildable tent and a nice little terrain piece right here. Highly recommend you get this set. Um, it's a great little piece that you can use in Call of Duty dioramas. It goes well with the previous World War II Legends sets. So absolutely fantastic set. Definitely go out there and pick it up if you can. That's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. We will be reviewing more Halo, Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed sets in the future. So we will see you in the next video. Bye!